Greetings, Taffers. I am here to play through Lord Edmund Entertains. This is another early era 1999 Thief fan mission made, of course, for Thief 1. And I have played this one before quite a few times, but it's been a while. So it will be still largely fresh for me as I dive in this time. And I guess I'll play on hard. Man, what a weird way to name the difficulties. These FM authors can't just do normal, hard, and expert. They always have to make things complicated. Easy, normal, hard. Anyway, time for Lord Edmund. Dear Lady Bernard, the 10th annual meeting of our small society is at hand. And as usual, I will serve as the host. I have fully stocked my pantry and prepared for your arrival to the best of my ability. I will be expecting you and Duke Craigan to arrive no later than noon on the 10th. We will celebrate with a feast and good one before descending to my board. And remember to keep your visit secret even from your closest friends. We do not want any uninvited guests. I remain faithfully yours, Lord Edmund. Now, this is worth the price of admission. Alright, I remember when I first played this, I actually didn't see that briefing for whatever reason. It was likely one of the thief video playing issues, but um, I saw it the last time. It's pretty cool, especially for such an early FM as this. All right, so let's see here. So obviously you want to get into the vault. That seems to be a pretty, you know, if there is a vault, you want to get into it and get whatever is inside. Once you're done, exit from the manor and go to the Indecent Nymph to wait for morning. Now that is a great name. If I didn't know who made this FM, I would guess that it was made by Pura. It actually is not. Um, and I will have the FM author name in my description uh, for you to reference right now. For whatever reason, I'm, I'm blanking out on it. My apologies there. But still a great name. And then clean house. Find at least 1,900 gold. Why not 2,000? Lord Emma may be a slimy snake, but the guards are just hirelings. That is very true. You know, they're just guys who looking for a job, looking to make a buck. Want their dinner. You know, simpletons. Like Benny. Good old Benny. And I will check back here, as always, just to make sure there's no little treat that I've missed before. I remember, like, when I first saw that stained glass there, I knew this was going to be a good FM. I was in for a treat. Every noble person should just have Lord Edmund's front gate security. I mean, like that right there, look at that. That is thief proof. No three guards standing around talking about bear pits, but just an actual gate, bars, locked. I always love the cityscape areas. And Adder Street, that's a great name. But the the um, manor missions that have a, a little cityscape area, where it's not a city mission, but it has this here as context. I'd be better off looking for another way around. 
always like those little setups. So are these lights here upside down or have I always thought that their upside down form was right side up? Which is it? Well, that door to Lord Edmunds isn't as well guarded, so maybe I retract my statement. No gate there. Here is the indecent nymph. Great name, great atmosphere. <laughs> Fill me up. No, actually, I'm, I'll be back later. Best not to drink before the job. It's cozy to think about hiding out here until morning. It's like it's a place of law enforcement, except for that guy. Won't go anywhere near. I mean, Benny will go there and get drunk, but no one else will. Nice effect there, like a receding path. Similar to the effect in the sword. The optical illusion of the receding hallways. Ah, Culvert Square Market Hall. Over from sunrise till nightfall. See the master every forenoon to rent a stall. Don't think you can pick this lock, but I'll check again. Nope. So it's time for the old rope arrow. There we go. Scrolled right by it. And if you'll excuse me, just take care of a real world matter. Should I say fake world because the world of thief is real? Could have gone on the other side too. No. Guess I'll just drop in. Got a sorcery store, a meats deli, bread bakery, and a smithy. On bread here. I'm gonna be hungry later after this job. Cheese too. And I love the Tudor style they have in here. It's really nice. I see boxes like this in an FM, not like in anything, but in an FM. I always go through a conflict. Could there be something that the author hid behind them, like in that back corner, just to be, you know, funny? And should I move them all, or is there like a trapdoor under there? Or should I just leave them alone and they're just there as like decor, or part of the level? Not like decor like someone would decorate with them, but the author, maybe. 
just added them there, you know, as a decor. I was like, is there a trap door under them? Because in Autumn and Lampfire Hills, there is a situation where a door is underneath some of them. Which FM you can see in an upcoming Let's Play of mine. So obviously wine is more popular. Whoa, one of these things is not like the other. Because there's just one of them, I mean, everything else you order is multiple of, and then just one right there. No, I'm kidding. Yes, it's different because it's a vial of poison. Don't go to the front gate. You forgot the D. 16 boxes of muffins. 60 eggs. Man. You know, he could have gotten like two vials of poison so it wouldn't stand out so much. It's the only thing he has one of. Let's set grilled chickens. 25 grilled chickens. Deliveries to St. Jenna's this week. Meanwhile, take them the spoiled consignment they never pay us anyway. Wow. And I think trades masters. Yeah, trade. Trades Masters, let's say that five times back, not Trade Master, but Trades Masters. Trades Masters Litter. Forty of Culvert Square Market Hall. <laughs> you recently voiced concerns that I have decided to change the locks, in fact, the entire door, to my rented stall at your market. Do not worry. This is a precaution to protect my rare and valuable merchandise. Nothing more. Once my period of rental expires, you will be given the sole key to the new door, at no cost to you. You were also worried that I never seemed to keep my store open, and that shady characters have been seen entering it. Trust my word, these people are my most valued customers. Customers. Certain reasons have forced me to be extremely selective with my clientele. Yours, Benedict Smith, Jeweler. Now, if that doesn't raise some red flags, then it was a windy day. Ha! Huh. Uh, man, that hurt even me. Turns out this is just the Trades Master's practice lockpick. So I have a market hall key, but I bet it won't open that custom made door. You know, the first time I came through here, well, let me save it. So I went into those places that was locked. I think this just opens, yep, the front, but the first time I came through here, now I wonder if I should do it this time, let me save, but I actually just busted this thing open. Except I, I can't. Oh, and then I brought the boxes and stood on them and crawled through. Hopefully I won't have alerted every guard and Lord Edmonds by this point, but... I'm over here, and I did it before, and I was able to finish the mission successfully, so... Yeah, that's right, you gotta time it just right with the crouch movement. I'm pretty sure I did it this way before. I mean, is this an immersive sim or isn't it? 
Oh, you're only supposed to go in there once you find the key. But then again, I can't seem to uh, crouch through this thing, so maybe, maybe this is a world of rigid rules and so much for player experimentation. Find the key, or you won't be able to get in. Oh wait. Oh. Well, this is a bummer. I thought I had gotten in here before by doing this. The whole FM be this. I mean, the whole FM, the whole let's play. But clearly, as you see, this guy is not a jeweler, so that's that's that point anyway. Oh, I wish I could get in here. Mm. Where's a speedrunner when you need one? Oh well. Oh, might be able to get into this one. I'm kind of inching in. Yes. Yes. No. Oh, yes. 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 Well, I can get deer legs and cheese, but I can't get any water arrows. Oh, how disappointing. See, this crate is there almost like he knows you would need to use it to get back out. I need to do right here what I did over there, just... I just kept running and eventually wormed my way in. There, oh, oh, I did it! I did it! Haha! Hee hee! What? Duke Kragen's... This comes in to play later. But I think you can actually find the key for this. In Lord Edmund's Manor. But, as I said, Immersive Sim, what, what? So there you go. I have the key. I was able to get in there now because I immersive simmed my way in. I just want to go around here. Okay, they're just whistling and humming still. Just wanted to make sure they're not like, Where are you, you tougher? But yes, I believe some place later in the level. Oh, Covenant Street, I like that. That's a cool name. But yes, later in the level, and here's St. Jenna's Orphanage for Young Girls, the place the marketplace was trashing. Oh, so sad. But I think later in the mission, you would have gotten the key, excuse me, to that stall. I just broke my way in ahead of time, as I get hiccups here. And it all, it, at first it weirded me that the market hall key opens this door into Lord Edmunds, but then I remembered this must be the delivery entrance for Lord Edmunds, they need a way in. Lord Edmund wants his deliveries to be prompt, and for that he has an Achilles heel that I, the Master Thief, have now exploited. And I am inside.
at last. See, like, should I, like, completely panic and lift up every one of these boxes to make sure nothing is under them, or should I just assume, ah, they just put down some boxes, there's no... There's no need to check underneath all of them. And I think this calls for a save. It's one of those save moments. Back in the day when there were no auto saves. And we were fine with it. Game designers are ruining games nowadays, having auto saves conveniently going in case you forget to manually save it. I long for the good old days when you could go for hours and forget to save or save in the wrong spot and screw up your game. Those were the good old days. And I miss them. 1999. Save your game. If it even has saves back then, you couldn't even rely on that. This table has no clear head. I guess... Lord, Don't see anything now. I guess Lord Edmund like has his most honored guest sit next to him there. You wouldn't happen to be walking to the store, would you? Okay, good. I'm glad that you're not. I love the interior of this manor, it's the texture work, it's kind of like, it's very Ramirez-y, some hints of Constantine, very original thief in either case, and I love that tapestry, that griffin mural thing. Very nice. Original thief. Who goes there? Ooh, I got away with one there. I really should have been caught. Too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. <clears throat> Seems clear. But yes, if you have not played this one, this is a great Thief One FM. If you want to get your Thief One vibes on, this FM will do the trick. Did that shadow move? No, but that door in the thief poking out did. I kid the AI. Okay, so real quick here, as a reminder, I need to get to Lord Edmund's vault and take everything from it. Get 1900 of loot, and then escape back to that nymph, indecent nymph place. While not killing any of the guards. Which is fine for me, I don't do so anyway. I try not to even knock them out, unless absolutely needed. Oh, that's marble flooring, I don't know if I want to... <clears throat> that was close. I like incidentally. Oh well. Don't know what it was. <coughs> I like incidentally timed all that perfectly. I didn't mean to. E. It would 
be hard to go back in that door now, though, because I don't know where that guard's patrolling at. Maybe if I listen. Sir, what's that? Is that on you? Nothing here now. Nothing here now. Hey, turn around very slowly and put your hands up. Actually, I think I'll turn around very quickly and run. I don't like that marble staircase there. I want to go back out this way. Sitting here was that guard like looking backwards when I first came in. Thought I saw something. Hmm. Noise stopped. Guess it was nothing. Mm. Someone there? I remember each time I play this, this part's real tricky because I try to either rope barrel up or make it to the stairs. But this guy. I was just far enough away just then, but this guy. Don't see anything now. It's kind of tricky. I need to see his patrol again. Don't click that YouTube thumbnail. Stay tuned. <laughs> Thought I saw something. Oh well. Must have nothing. I don't know which way he's gonna Nothing there now. I think I might just rope barrel up. And as I noted on my last let's play. Can't hear it anymore. Probably nothing. Rope arrow is completely a verb, trust me. If you play thief. What do I see there? Hey! Where'd you Rope arrow is a verb. He rope arrowed over the wall. He wished he could rope arrow up to the top floor. Who's there? He would have rope arrowed, however, he was out of rope arrows. Nothing there now. <coughs> Something there. Rats. Turn around very slowly. <laughs> that would be an odd thing to see if you were a guard to turn around to see some guy climbing up a rope. Did that shadow move? Well, I don't know if I would say turn around very slowly. Seems clear enough now. <clears throat> there now. Huh. Something there. Trying to figure out how I didn't have enough time just then. He. Nothing now. He caught me pretty quickly. <clears throat> no. I will get this right, because this is how I. I think I've always done this part like this, because of that mm. other staircase being marble. <sighs> that was not good. Who's creeping around that there? was poorly done. I messed up. Ah, uh, noise. Sounded like a rat shooting a rope arrow into a banister balcony overhang, whatever it is. Ugh. <laughs> uh. 
Well, it didn't seem to alert anyone. Now I'm trying to pick up my rope arrow and completely failing. There we go. I mean, yeah, hitting the wood floor like that was... Uh... There. Identify oh, yourself. there goes that. You know, maybe that marble stairway isn't so bad after all. And yes, I know I could just blackjack him, but... Oh. I try to avoid that if I can. Oh, hey, this door. Let me just go through here. The shrine and the start area would be right outside of those windows. Always have to do the pew check for loot. someone mumbling down there. I'm going to bet it's Lord Edmund. Of course, I'm halfway feigning ignorance. I guess, of course, I have played this before. And But if you haven't, I don't want to spoil it for you. But yes, yeah, someone mumbling down there. That's where you can do all the fancy effects. And he's giving his, um, sermons. It's actually pretty cool. It's like one of those you can totally see the scene of like some dark society meeting and he's flipping all these switches to give these effects. Now one of these rooms. Ah yes. I know the kind. There's some little loot puzzle, isn't there? You know, if memory serves me correctly, something bad happens if I go to walk across there. And I don't want that bad thing to happen. I think there's a, a readable somewhere about some trick to walking across there. So let's just, I will bookmark this and save it for later. We'll come back to the friendly loot room. Well, color me disappointed. 
So with that, this area explored and that door locked, I will go back to the stairway dilemma. Do I do the wooden stairway with the guard walking around down below and the one up the stairs? That's a little bit trickier to sneak to. Or do I go to the marble stairway? That might be easier to sneak up, but would be harder to traverse. Or do I take my chances back out in the courtyard, where there are several well-lit areas? And a lot of guards. Actually, this might not be a good idea. I don't know if I can rope arrow up to not, up onto that balcony, and I think that's just that guarded gateway I saw from outside before. So this might be a no-go too. I might have to just contend with one of the stairway options. And you know, your life isn't that bad, man. And that guy's coming. What? You're not supposed to be standing there. You're supposed to be patrolling around. Is that you? No, it's the other guy. <coughs> Can't hear it and then the question here is do I burn my one <coughs> moss arrow? <coughs> There's another guy down there? What the heck? <coughs> Would you see me? That was weird. I don't know, I'm trying to get up there. <coughs> See, this is why I usually go up the other way, but... Huh. I feel like here... Uh, excuse me. I'm not tired or bored, yet I yawn. Why? Why? It's like there's that one guard down there to, like, check you from being able to... Sneak down the hallway right behind that guard effectively. And I can't remember if there are guards up here on the. There are. <laughs> well. Is there any underwater passage in here? See, there's the gate. That place is lit and guarded. I don't think I can rope arrow up there. Something move there? Um, maybe. Look over there. You see something? Huh? Don't see anything now. <clears throat> so I'm going to go back to trying my chances with this guy and this stairwell. <clears throat> Who's there? Oh. Nothing now. What I see there. Oh, nothing. Okay, I'm committing myself. Just the wind. To the asylum. No. Kidding. I'm committing myself to rope arrowing up onto this balcony. It must be doable. <clears throat> This guy is faking me out. He must have a bunch of patrol points set down on a random path between them or something. So it makes this part so tricky. I'll go ahead and put the rope barrel there. If he's the typical guard, he won't react to it. And then I'll take my chance when his back is turned. Mm -hmm. 
Well, he took care of me pretty quickly. He. I just realized the tricky thing about this room is since his patrol is random. <coughs> Seems peaceful enough now. And now I hear a guy walking up there. But I don't care, I'm gonna. Oh, what I was had that it. Noise? I had it, he was climbing. Over there! That first time he grabbed the stairs, he was climbing. He was mantling. My bad. And then I backed down. Let's see, maybe in the next 30 minutes I'll make it up there. I think that'd be a lofty goal to shoot for. Hey, what was that? <clears throat> now that guy's up there. Hmm. The noise stopped. Guess it was nothing. Who's there? Halt! But you, you weren't supposed to get me then. I guess. Okay. Try these stairs again. What do I see there? Santa Claus. <laughs> Please don't see me. Do I have just enough shadow? I think I do. I think I do. <clears throat> Nothing there now. Oh. I should be fully submerged in shadows now. I love just the look of it like this one room. Empty, no furniture or tapestry, but this fireplace and how the light comes out and how it's dark here in the corners. Like, it's so, like, noirish, surreal looking, a very great Thief One vibe going on here again. And me making it up here successfully, I think, is worthy of a save. How did you know my name? I think I'll afford this opportunity to look around here. I, from what I remember, there's nothing around this balcony, but just to make sure. Leave me alone. Can I can I sneak you through without putting it out here? You know what? I, I just don't feel right. Even if I could technically go through there without getting hurt, I just I don't feel right about that, you know? I gotta put the fire out. And I got a feeling at this part of the video I'm going to have to up the brightness like heck. Because it is dark. Oh, hey, that key that I found in the market shop called Duke Cragen's key unlocked this chest. Aha. Uh -huh. I got some loot. Nice. So now I wish I hadn't put the fire out because I can't see anything. Now I have an unmarked key and there's a readable. Let's see. Alright, I might not read this one, so read at your own pleasure.
Okay, so this must be what that guy is mumbling about. As I put the pieces together when I first did this. The Dark Isles, I like that. An object corrupting or possessing someone in the nobility. I like it. I like it. When he says, I must summon here, does he mean just like typical summon or is this magical summon? I mean, this is a thief readable. I gotta know the context. Well, I'm actually a mage. As soon as I return home, I must cast a summoning spell to get an architect and a bricklayer. Now, a few interesting things with this readable. One, I love the story theme. This is a theme that you will see in many fan missions subsequently of the idol or treasure item from a faraway land corrupting the people who brought it back, or that same item being kept in like a, a vault of some kind or a treasury locked away. I mean, even up to like recent FMs in the past few years, I'm thinking of one right now where there is a very similar story point. Then, too, I just like the, the story for this FM. It's these three nobility keeping up this annual dark ritual concerning this idle and there, there must be something to do with like them bringing their keys and maybe unlocking it each year I don't know it's a good readable the last point is how would you surmise maybe there are other clues there might be other clues in the FM that I just don't remember but if I hadn't busted into that shop and gotten this key how would I know from this that that key might be in the marketplace I'd be thinking, all right, contacts among the keepers, safe place nearby, store and retrieve the key at my leisure. How would I make a connection to the market shop? And again, there might be more that I find out later. Other clues, but from that readable alone. No key opens that. It's interesting. Oh yeah, I remember the Benny guard right there. Look there. See anything? Come on. Come on, Light Jim. I'm I am drowned in shadows right now. See, this part's tricky because there's so many shadows, but <clears throat> it doesn't seem to affect the, um, the, uh, light gem. An empty room. Hello? Don't move! Hello? Don't move. It's quite a jump in mental state.
Mm. How many contexts in, might you be in which you say hello and then 10 seconds later, or even less than that, say, don't move? Beyond being a guard in a manor house when you spot a thief, probably not that many contexts. Hopefully I'll remember to edit that part out of I just sneezed really loud. Bless me. And then people up above me get all the light and get all the favors and I don't Oops. have another thing to eat in Oops. days. Too busy complaining about not eating in days. Who is there? Is someone there? Do his job. Oh, wow. And I'm all sniffly from the sneeze. Was nothing. Say that five times fast. Now here is an interesting room. Like this is the kind of room I could just soak in. Like I could just like live in this room and meditate. Cozy little chair area. Now, where have I seen this before? Hmm. Can't quite put my finger on it. Now, Edmund's journal. Let's see what this guy's thinking. I'll leave the reading to you, but I might point out the highlights. Excuse me. That isn't concerning at all, surely. I definitely don't want to get caught in that trap. Obviously in the world of thief and the in the world of thief, um thieves are just like killed on the spot. <laughs> Immediate death sentence. Yeah, I'd say that idol starting to have an effect on him. You sure you couldn't get that onto one line? Oh. Uh. Okay, might be time for an intervention with this guy. I, I think it's gotten to that point. Okay. Okay. Give him the benefit of the doubt. You know, sometimes you can have those days. Well, see, nice of him. See, he was thinking of the street dogs. Instead of consuming it himself, he was giving it to the dogs. Okay, so he's not completely lost.
Okay, so he's going somewhere dark, but uh... Okay, actually... That guy's nuts! What am I saying? That guy has lost his mind. One thing's for certain, this Edmund guy has lost his mind. Did you see someone over there? Seems peaceful enough now. Hmm. I wonder if a lot of these guards, like, ever think that places are haunted. Oh, hello there. I'll just go ahead and quick load right now and then get that over with. What's going on? Drop that weapon! So I might be going back to that marble staircase after all. I see there. Well, it could have been a door opening in your peripheral vision. Look there. See anything? Uh, seems quiet enough now. Oh well. But I don't want to go to the marble stairway. I think I've done it this way before. I saw something. Oh, you didn't just think. You saw. It's going to be hard to sneak through that way, especially because there's a guard on the other side of that door. So I've got this guy, I've got Benny at the fireplace. Over there. Ugh. I've got the guard on the other side of the door. But then again, at the top of the marble staircase, there is a guard right there, too. Hmm. Puzzling Dilemma. Sir? Was that you? Well, I am coming out of the I'll sir's bedroom. Now. Not a bad guess. Not a bad guess. <coughs> hmm. oh, shadow, shadow, shadow. Someone behind me? Why, yes, as a matter of fact, there is. And hey, look, I did it. Except, okay. Um. I, I did it. I don't want to save it in case, like, you know, that guy ends up walking over here and catches me, but hey, look, look, I'm, I'm here. <coughs> well, that was some weird mirror stuff right there. Those guards, like, mirrored each other. I hope, like, when that guy activates for his next patrol, he doesn't, like, immediately kill me. We'll see that sometimes. Huh? Don't think you can just vanish in the shadow- <sighs> You know, that guy has got some problems huh? with these. Too much coffee this morning. 
Let's see, the virus. That's from Cleopatra, no. It was papyrus, uh, anyway. A note from Baldric to Baldric, me. Her art and and tools to get past seller trap pay. Oh, see, he's actually sophisticated. That's how they spell trap in uh, some parts of Europe. Auto copy bloody scroll as Lorde told to burn original. Okay, here's what I'm looking for. The hint to the puzzle thing downstairs. Start from the right and bug them all, not toward the sheep that snort and smell. Well only your left all might burn, just shy on <laughs> some kind of hint. Trap run. <laughs> oh man. Here we go, this is more like it. Start from the right and hug the wall. Go forward with step short and small. When on your left a wall light burns, just shy of quarter leftwards turn, then cross the passage all the way, unless you want to die, obey. Along the leftward wall you creep, till past the midpoint, one foot deep. Exactly quarter turn clockwise, the opposite wall should fill your eyes. Proceed across the hall just right, turn left and safety is in sight. To escape from my hall of traps, one run straight through center line, perhaps. And to all he proclaimed as he rode out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and okay, I won't do that. Baldur, take extra special care that you burn this note after memorizing seeing the verses, Lord Edmund. Okay, well. Now I know exactly how to cross that one pathway downstairs. And what did his note say? Just shy <laughs> He didn't get very far. You know, I'll leave him his little note here. Right betwixt his carrots. Over there. Did that shadow move? Mm. Must have been oh, imagining now. things. Must have been rats. Yeah, must have been imagining things. Must have been rats. Do these guys not even huh? try? Mm. Yeah, I saw. I saw something. <clears throat> Easy to get back down, hard to get back up. Such is life. Look over there. You see something? Well, no. Oh well. What's going on over there? Um, nothing. Oh well. Must have been nothing. <laughs> All right, I alerted someone. Someone got ticked off just then. Is it just me, or did something move? Well, it couldn't just be you if something moved. Oh, that's why he said "or." That's right. Is it just me, or did something move? Because if nothing moved, then it is just him. I wonder what's in that door inside that hallway to the left of the marble staircase. 
I went in there once, but I had to put out both torches in there. And I remember, like, it wasn't anything special. I don't know. For now, I just want to get to that shrine and try out that puzzle thing. I have a feeling I'm going to be dying and quick loading quite a lot. Don't do this. Don't. Don't. Just. You, you shouldn't do that. You should just keep walking. Before I traverse this trickery tr uh, floor, I can't think of another word. Um, I thought a save would be worthwhile. So anyway, now I'll get back. And if you noticed a blip, I did just quickly check to make sure everything was still recording well. Since one time I forgot to record the audio, ever since then I've been paranoid about making sure I get everything just right. So anyway, now that I'm all saved up, let me look at this rhyme again. Oh, that won't tell me anything. Except it made me feel scared. So let's take this one stanza at a time. Oh, I'm, I'm not even going to try to lie about knowing what a stanza is anymore. It's been a while since my last English class in college. Start from the right and hug the wall. Go for it with steps short and small. When on your left a wall light burns, just shy of quarter left woods turn. Okay. So on my left, a wall light is burning, so just shy of quarter, leftward turn. Then cross the passage all the way, unless you want to die, obey. So I'm thinking that means, whoops. But, I did what it said. I've always had this trouble with this part, like, it seems like the directions are bunk. Because, right, just shy of left, just shy of quarter, so I don't turn the whole quarter, I turn just shy of quarter, which means going diagonally, right? Which, but, so I can't really go by the instructions at this part. Well, do I go directly straight across leftward? I guess so. Instructions are wrong. You don't just shy of quarter left way turn. You full quarter left way turn. And on your left a wall light burns. Full quarter leftwards turns. And cross the bastard all the way unless you want to die, obey. Along the leftward wall you creep till past the midpoint one foot deep. Okay. What the midpoint is, is anyone's guess. I think I go one more. Okay. How about we just see where the um, different looking floor textures are? Let's do it that way. Forget the rhyme. Exactly quarter turn clockwise. See here he says quarter. There it was just shy of quarter. But. When I turn just shy of quarter and started crossing, like I would hit a trap that set off the, I would hit a floor piece that set off the trap. I had to turn all the way quarter. Hmm. But here, exactly quarter, turn clockwise. 
The opposite wall should fill your eyes. Proceed across the hall just right. Turn left and safety is in sight. See that? I can tell there's like a weird texture there. He said safety is in sight. Cool. Not the most reliable set of trap rhyme instructions, but I made it. Why the pretensions of a, having to lockpick this? I just crossed a trap area. Well, at least there's not a key you have to go back hunting for that. <laughs> that would be miserable. Can you imagine getting here and you don't have the key? the end to escape from my hall of traps run straight through center line perhaps but would would my running along the marble alert all the guards upstairs that's that's my concern let me to see if that would even work like so it does work in the sense of not being killed but just worry there might be like one, I mean, I know this is far underground, but there might be that one NPC in the level who is all flipping out right now. You know, I can't even remember, what did I get out of that chest? I can't even remember what I got out of the chest. Was it just loot? I guess it was loot. I've already forgotten. Wow. Well, let me see if this unmarked key works up here on this door. I don't hear that guard in there freaking out, so I'll, I'll assume I didn't alert anyone. Huh? second I'm gonna do a little trick here because I, I can't I'm gonna save it here but I want to go back to my quick save because I can't even remember I guess I already opened it but like what was in the chest I, I think it was just loot I can't remember oh you know what I'm glad I went back to my quick save would you look at this aha uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. Yikes. This is not someone that Garrett wants to be caught by. Uh, excuse me. And you know, to um to rest assured myself I will See if I can just creep back along here on the way back. I think I can do it. Should be like I get back to this light. I think. There we go, now that's how you do it. I remember each time I play this, I hit this point and I get stymied, and it's happened again. 
So I have the two keys and the, sh the two doors in the shrine, one at the top and one at the bottom behind that red fountain. Both doors are still locked. Felt like I explored the upstairs pretty well from what I remember. And so all that's left is that one like guard area door. There's the marble stairway and there's that one door on the far side of it in that well lit area that I haven't been to. So I think I'm going to head back there and see if there's any key in there and whatnot. As it seemed, both those doors were locked from all my keys. There wasn't any key down there, it was just loot, so... That's what's occurring to me now to try. Try to get into that guard room area and then maybe check the upstairs again. Let me save it here and then I will get along with that. Alright, so... Now I need to go get that... Whoa, little jump there. I need to go try to find a key. I'm going to go check out that guard room area. And in case you just now noticed a blip as I head the wrong way, when I was in the pause menu just now, I did break just there. So technically I'm coming back to this FM with fresh eyes and a new sitting. No, oh, but someone is in front of you, Mr. Guard. Something move. Hey, you! Hey, you who just opened a door wide open in front of me. So yes, back with the fresh face and obviously having to get into the groove again. That's right, he stands there for a bit. There we go. Try to remember. Trying to remember where I think I go out this way. And I want to get to that door. I can't remember if I can get to it from in here, actually, now that I think about it. So I alerted him, I'm trying to avoid that. I think there's a way through the dining room. Let me look again. Shadow move. Gotta stop. Jump. Not 
Here we go. This is what I was looking for. I really don't know if there's any way to get down there without putting those torches out. Or otherwise being caught. There is a doorway down there on the left, it looks like, but I think it might go into that outdoor front atrium area where there are already guards. So I think I'm going to have to put out some torches here. If I could sneak down there, I need I need a shadow oasis, if you know what I mean. I wonder how far this thing can launch. If I could shoot this from here and get the torch at the far end of the hall. Hmm. Check out that chest later. I'm just really anxious. Mm. What was that noise? Now I'm the one asking what that noise was. Like that guard was opening something in there. <clears throat> this is a cool little scene, I have to say. I like it. It's a new dark issue or something else, but what there? Yeah. it seems like that there's um some <sighs> objects in this game are floating, like that bed. Okay, he probably saw me and he's mm. about to jump to alert and get me. And I would say I first started noticing this a few years ago, and then I remember um. That new dart came out, uh, like, eight years ago, eight and a half years ago, by this point. Hello? Show yourself! Speaking of, I, I saw on TTLG that there is a, a new dart 10 year anniversary contest, I believe. Now that could be exciting. And I can't believe it's already... I, well, I think was it 2012 or 2013? I'm I, I don't know if I, I need to look at that contest to see if the deadline is 2022 or if it's not until 2023 and, and they're giving authors a, you know a lot of time in that sense um, hmm. you know a lot of time for a contest. I know relatively it's not a lot of time because well anyway. Log for tenth and mid moon. Let's see. <laughs> Lion's bedroom. That's a cool name. But shouldn't it be Griffin's bedroom?
<laughs> Looks like someone's getting their skull cracked. I saw a guard at at the um, indecent nymph. Oh, what an exciting life these guards have. I'd actually like to read Benny's diary or log. Now that could be interesting. I wonder if it's a glitch that that thing opens whenever he stands there. What's there? Speaking of new dark. Oh well. Was nothing. Aha. Oh, front gate key. Don't know if that's the key I'm looking for. Mm. Nice <laughs> Maybe he's opening that with his mind. <laughs> Hello. Did you see me? Ah! Yep. Well, I don't know what good a front gate key would do. Me. Up above me, get all the light and get all the fears, and I don't have another thing to eat in days. this again since uh, the Garrett and this save game universe will have read that. Hang back here in the semi-shadows. I first I saw him patrol near that once. Maybe he's meant to actually walk near it. I don't know what's going on. stock up on holy water. It's like you have a problem with the undead in the city or something. gate key, but that doesn't really help. What I need is a key for one of those two locked doors in the shrine room. And I have played through this FM before, but... <sighs> Okay, I might need to put out a torch. Kind of unavoidable that, or knock him out. Oh, hello there. <laughs> but I, I have played this before quite a few times, but it has been years ago by this point. So I can't remember exactly where every key is or every detail is. wondering how I'm going to get out of here. Did you see that? Let's see. Yep. Well, this is an interesting predicament. Hmm. I may end up having to blackjack him. 
Let's see if there's a map. Okay, so front gate, side gate, main yard. Probably there. Yep, gotta get into the vault. That's my loot count. 1780, uh, probably after I get to the vault, I'll hit that 1900 mark. here. Note to self, mute that part in the editing <sighs> process. I cannot believe that I just pondered something using the theme of the Klondike bar commercials. Maybe there's something in that chest? What's going on over there? Nothing now. Hey! What was that noise? <laughs> oh, wow, a broadhead arrow. That really helps me out. Well, hmm. I guess I'll give a quick save here, even though there was some sloppiness there. I, I should have been caught. But it goes back to either, I guess I could try exploring the upstairs again, maybe I wasn't as thorough as I should have been. Either that, or it's looking for the key to one of the locked doors in the shrine, temple, worship, sanctuary, room, whatever it is. He's got his left shoulder hunched up, that's what these models look like. I really hope I can get to that shadow before he turns around. Something there. I'm glad he turned that way. If he had turned clockwise. Seems peaceful enough now. I would have had to load my quick save again. Did that shadow move? I don't see anything now. And I don't see any reason why the front gate key would work on one of those doors. What's that? Who goes? But it is a new key I got up here. Probably nothing. Maybe I might as well check. So it's back to looking for a key. I keep accidentally doing that.
Well, time to head back upstairs. I might need to do a more thorough look up there. something. Oh boy, I missed. Oh, no, I didn't. <gasps> Who's creeping around there? Uh, I got caught. Nothing now. I heard that. <gasps> Show yourself. Yep, it was difficult for me to get up here before, and once again, it is proving to be is that way. I see there. like I'm obligated to land on the wood floor at least once, but then perfectly climb up there. Why couldn't I perfectly climb up there the first time I mantle? I could just forget the no knockout thing and Sometimes knock that there. guard out. <coughs> what I see there? Oh, I even had caught it that time. But then I let go of the space bar. I, I just, ugh. I'm not even sure I'll find anything upstairs. I was really disappointed I didn't find anything in that shrine. I thought that's where I would have found something. Noise. Something there. <gasps> I might have gotten away with one that time. I should have been caught. But if he's not coming after me, I'm not asking questions. I'm going on my merry little way back in here, and I guess I need to. Let's do a good old key hunt. There's a key somewhere that I'm missing. I assume this is the room I was just in. I think I'd already been into all of these rooms. <clears throat> ah. Nice bit of deer leg. out there is another stairwell and it goes to the room of the servant who wrote down the um, mm -hmm. rhyme that gets you across the room of the shrine below and wow I'm saying a lot of words it's like the longest run-on sentence I've ever said in my life and I guess maybe I, I should his room had a window out onto the balcony overhang. Maybe I should go back out on that and see if it 
lead somewhere. And this is the lion bedroom, I believe. Which I've explored. Maybe I missed something. In the shadow. This is a cool room, though, if I'm gonna wait for several moments in one place. Hello? Show yourself! <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> It's just back to the servants' room. There's nothing. There's nothing more up here that I think I missed. Maybe I could get to that roof overhang thing from veranda, like whatever it's called. Maybe I could get to it from the courtyard. If there's like another window you walk into from there. I seem to remember something like that being the case in a mission where you. I think it was another mission, actually, it, it might have been multiple mm. other missions that have Somewhere. something where you mm. walk out onto a veranda from one room and Guess it was nothing. you can then, mm. Hello? from there, Show yourself. as I add like five syllables to there, oh, well. from there you can Don't go into what? another room through a window that you couldn't access otherwise. Mm -hmm. I think that was like in Mystery Man. And I'm sure it's been in other FMs. I can't remember if that's what I have to do here. Guess I'll give it a try here in just a moment. Hey, did you see Who someone over there? there? Is someone there? Just the wind, I guess. Hey, sorry, gotta go. by. Made it to a shadow oasis. Okay. So I'll go into the servant's room here again. I'll scour it. I'll go out onto the veranda. See if there's anything I missed out there. But then I'm hitting an empty well. Maybe I should go back to the market hall area and see if there was something in there I missed. But I... Pretty sure I explored it well. I even went to that one secret room area right or the one lock shop where I got Duke Cragen's key Huh? Hey! 
was asking for that. I think I'll creep along this landing and try to get up to the room from this direction. That just goes back to the front entryway where I've been. Oh. Okay, that... Somehow I've got to get back into that room, and I don't really know Strange how. Strange noise! <laughs> See, I'm just getting kind of sloppy and impatient because I want to find a key. It's key anxiety. He's just going to keep walking across there. When he gets to the other side, he will turn around. Okay, so at this kind of a moment is when I could sneak behind him. This is what I was waiting for, but now that guard's coming. Ah, I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, that was close. I should have gotten caught. Can't hear it anymore. Hey! Great. I did get caught. My word. Back to this. no key on him. I don't think there was anything over here. Nope. Maybe there is something out in the city area that I'm missing. <sighs> Let's see if I can get out here without waking the dead. Okay. Oh, aha! I see it. I can make out a no window on the other me. side. No, someone's up on the veranda. You idiot! Can't hear it anymore. Probably nothing. You mean you can't see it anymore? It's probably nothing. Hey, everyone. Oh, look, it's Garrett. Hey, Garrett. What are you doing up there on that veranda? Ah, just sneaking around to the other side to get into this window over here. Okay, okay, well... Take it easy, yeah. Keep an eye out for any rats or shadows or the wind. Will do. Looks like my memory served me right. I knew there was a Thief 1FM where you get out on a veranda. Aha, chapel key. A key to the chapel. I knew there is a Thief 1FM where you get out onto a veranda to access a room through a window that otherwise was inaccessible. And here we go. Who's in that bed? Would that be the lady? Lady Bernhard or whatever? Or someone else, a servant? I don't really want to open the gates or anything. I don't feel the need to. Okay, maybe this is more servants quarters actually, I'm not too sure. But this chapel key should get me into this door down here. Let's hope. Or I might go back up into that room and pull those levers. Those levers might be above this room. But let me just see if this chapel key will work. Good. Uh, stuck by the door. Let me dance with the door a little bit, and then finally head down here. And see, earlier in my playthrough, I got out in that veranda, and then just went back in. I didn't see that window, and I didn't remember it. I'm sure anyone who was watching was screaming at me. Get out on the veranda. Go to the other side, the, the window. 
And this guy's kind of lost his mind. Um, kind of thing that can happen to Thief fans when they're doing a key hunt, so I can relate to him. And I have his key. It's Duke Cragen's key from the marketplace. So now I just have to get her a key and Lord Edmund's key. Sounds like the same butt, but it's kind of shut out. Has a key, but where the hell is his key? I have a key, and she has a key, but where the hell is his key? I have a key. CFM authors, this is why you shouldn't put key hunts in your FMs. This is what can happen. I have a key, and she has a key, but where the hell is his key? I once wandered around like this. Borek, is that you? Yeah. Now where was I? I have a kill the hell. Now I wonder how many I? times they swap the um the glasses was again. I can see you I can I have a key and she has a key, but where the hell is his key? I have But yeah, I wonder how many times they swapped key, the glasses as they were drinking them. Oh, Lord Edmund, look at that. There's a fly over there. Oh, Lady Bernhardt, I thought I saw something scurry across the floor. Oh, look up there. It's, it's a ceiling. And they have to burn a moss arrow here. Whew, had to get back to that shadow. I guess that was the now rainy was day I? I was saving it for. <laughs> now where was I? This guy should have done a little more research on where to uh, look for keys. Hey, um, I'm using the keys to open your vault here. If you want to find that guy's key, um, I'm kind of using it over here. Satisfying opening all those. Uh oh. What do we have here? This has got um broken triad vibes to it. See, I still need the 1900 loot. And I have 1875, so I'm really close. But yeah, that's creepy. Hmm. Okay, if I leave the vault open, um, I got all the keys and took your idol. I think I'll just head on out here. I just want to make sure there wasn't like a, a loot item that I missed in here. It doesn't look like it. You know, and I have to commend Lord Edmund. I mean, when you're a bad guy and you're poisoning the cup of an opponent, and it's just you and one other person, that's hard enough to keep track of, but 
when you've got two other people and two poison cups, that can get complicated. One of them pulls a fast one on you and swaps it. You have two options that it could have been swapped with. Now I'm going to start chanting. I have some loot, and he has some loot. Now where the heck is 25 more loot? Like I said before, I love scouring and exploring FMs. I am big on exploration and making sure I see and get to every area. Especially when I'm playing a new FM for the first time. Like, I really want to see everything, but I've, I've never been big... Oh, that's, that's a corpse. Looks like he killed the priest, who's now zombified as well. Huh. Yeah, I, I guess, again... I'm thinking Lord Edmund isn't a Hammerite. I'm not fully sure, but be my guess he's not a Hammerite. At least not a practicing Hammerite, if you know what I mean. You know, his parents were Hammerite. He, he says he's a Hammerite, you know, but he doesn't really do the Hammerite thing. But as I was saying, I've never been one to try to just desperately get all the loot in an FM. I'm not big on the loot completionist thing. Is that you? No, it's me. Who do you think Look it is? Hey, Garrett, how'd it go? Something? Did you rob the vault? Yeah, I got that idle thing, and now I'm going to look for a little more loot. Okay, okay, just let us know if you need any help. Well, hey, look, it's Garrett up there. How you doing? Yeah, all right, all right. You? Ah, not too bad. Just looking for rats and wind and, you know, Joran, Kevil, that, that kind of thing. You? I just gotta get some more loot and head on out. Cool. A decent nymph? Yep. Awesome. See you there. <clears throat> Over there. Huh? There's... What's that? I saw, I saw hey. something. See, if I was done with all my objectives and I was lazy. I could have opened that gate and gotten out that way, but now that I th think about it, the exit in the cellar, the place that I came in at, will I be able to get up out that way? Is there a rope arrow point or crates I can use? Hmm. Hey, you guys got any pockets to pick? Kind of looking for some more loot here. No? Hmm. But again, as I was saying like 50 times now, you know what, I've already crossed the water there. arrow Rubicon. All quiet now. Must have been rats. Look there. See anything? Yeah. That was sloppy. Oh, I should have been caught. Yep. Uh, even though I wasn't caught, that was sloppy. I, I didn't mean to make a loud noise when I hit. Maybe there's some more loot in the market area. I should head back there or somewhere else out in the city area. Maybe there's some loot in between those gates and me not opening them was a mistake. Well, I don't think so. I don't want to open those gates. But yeah, if you want loot completion, go to another... Thief FM Let's Player, or um, you know, go look at a loot list. I can't remember the the community member who put together a lot of loot list and who, like, got all the loot in every mission. But someone who had like a website where they had all their loot list, and I can't think of their name now. I'm horrified. 
I am a disgrace to my own thief bandness. Now I'm just getting lazy. Like I said, I crossed the water arrow Rubicon. Oh, I don't want to go back in there. What a waste. And I'm usually not this sloppy. feel about continuing to scour the house. I feel like any loot I'm missing is going to be back this way or in the city. Like something back here early on that I missed. Like something in here, you know, something like that. loot from in there and make the loot noise immediately followed by a burning noise and a scream. But did I sufficiently establish that I'm a, com I'm a completionist in the sense that I like to see everything and explore everything, but I'm, I'm not, I've never been big on getting all the loot. I like to get most of the loot, but if I don't get all of it, nah, I'm cool with that. And I used to be much more of an extreme ghoster, but even in my much more rigid ghosted ghosting days and that before I recorded any gameplay, I, I, I was never big on getting all the loot. Yeah, I don't know. Just never really grab me as as much as not knocking anyone out. Oops, that that was goofy. Or like exploring everywhere it did. Okay. Well, I can't steal from the orphan, so let me. Cozy Thief One City area. I love it. Let me. I mean, essentially, I'm looking for like if someone dropped a quarter on the ground, okay? Like. For the uh, loot objective requirement. So I guess I will look back in here. Maybe I missed some loot in here. But you know what? Let me look under these boxes. I bet you there's something hidden, hidden under there. As I referenced before. Nothing. Not even one gold coin. Oh, there's the disappearing door thing. It's been a while since I've seen that. Got all the loot out of there. there's loot in the indecent nymph that I could get it would like immediately complete the mission because I would be in the indecent nymph and be getting all the loot I 
think the unmarked key. Yep. Of course, I already busted in here earlier. So I could be happy about seeing his unmarked key thing opened up. It's weird that this door won't unlock, though. Ah. See my map. Oh, why didn't I just. Oh. Hmm. Mystery. Why didn't I just lockpick that open in the first place? Well, I got another deer leg, but unfortunately, that's not loot. Well, there's something I missed up here. I mean, it's darker than, like, the far reaches of space up there, so it wouldn't surprise me that I missed some loot. Yeah. Wish I had a flare or something. Oh, you know, I bet you that behind these, there's that hidden loot item. Put all the crates somewhere, hide something behind them. Players like me will be, well, should I move them? Nah, there's nothing behind there. And all the while, there's nothing behind. Try near the start area again. And then I'll go into the indecent nymph and see if there's any loot in there. that people left on the uh, the front that's the gate I could have opened make sure there's no loot hidden in between there hmm. the start gate that they've gotten. No. Well, let's see what the Indecent nymph has. back there asking for a friend mm 
I'm gonna quick save it in case this is one of those situations where if I head into the back, like, everyone goes alert. Which, you know, would be perfectly justifiable. <laughs> that guy's drunk. I don't seem to care. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, no loot items, I guess. <laughs> well, I've got to get that 1900 loot. Uh, 25 more total, whatever it is. I don't know if it's like what the currency would be, but whatever it is, 25 more of it. Let's see if I can open the front gate over here. Guess I have to go back to the manor house and look around. I'd be better off looking for another way around. And now you say that. <laughs> Trying to think where there would even be more loot. And I went to the vault area in that secret place. I mean, that is, I, I crossed the floor and. Would there be anything up there? Like, is that an open window I can. See. Aha. Aha. Nice. I would not have thought that this was actually the case. And though I'm still short. Well, I'll see if there's anything else in here. Let's see. What's this? Dear Saint Jenna. I don't know if you really exist, but if so, please help me. If mom and dad still live, let them find me here as I am very lonely and sad. Also make a cough pill to my brother Timmy who is in St. Adelard so that Timmy does not die of the lung disease. You can take my eight copper pennies and savings and the ring mom gave me if you do these things. Lisa. P.S. Please give evil lord Edmund next door the pot so he dies and rots in you know where, please. Wow. That was a sweet little letter up until that PS, but I can't blame her. It certainly makes me feel bad about taking these loot items, though, but hey, I got an objective to complete. Now that takes me to my loot total, which means I can't escape to the end. This was a great area, a great find. But see, now I've learned that as I have before. Sometimes looking for loot allows one to explore all the areas, so I should be more stringent about searching for loot. That was a pretty funny readable though. PS at the end is quite jarring. Well, it looks like my work here is finished. You thought I would say done, didn't you? Hit me up, Harry. Alright, stats time. I found 1983 loot out of 2008. It's weird, like 2008, 1983. Huh. Well, I guess no matter what number you use, it would be a year, but they're not even numbers. Why not? One pocket left. How much loot left would that be? Like, oh great, I've given the channel an opportunity to see my terrible math skills. No, I think it's 25, right? Yeah, 25 more loot. No knockouts or kills, that's good.
good. Alright everyone, thank you for watching my playthrough of Lord Edmund Entertains. Or I should say, Lord Edmund Entertains, because there is an exclamation point in the title. I will be continuing my Let's Plays of Early Era Thief FMs. Don't, er, don't forget to also check out my Let's Play of The Shadow of Lord Rothchest. And also, A Noble Death. Thank you for watching, I'm Trevor. And keep on playing Thief, Thief FMs, keep on taffing, stay tuned. Thanks again.